clever girl. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What do we? Do weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, your guy got a plant and you might as well name it Popeye. Maybe I will. Like spinach? It's not spinach. I don't know what this thing is called, but it's, uh, I can't remember what I just, I feel like a velociraptor. She's steaming in here. Oh, we got music, but that's not fair. Na -na 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 -na. Actually, that's a good part. All right, your guy is back again in his new $15 walmart drippy just was in there and saw this hoodie i was like oh booger green perfect let me grab it to blend into my plant that i just got at home depot because i wanted a plant i want to plant my house i want something to take care of my pet plant also i w i went into popeyes and i got myself a house load now i don't know if you can see that but i got 10 black and ranch and eight sweet heat a bunch for the house but a bunch for this meal I came back after that other time, I was just jonesing it. I wanted the nuggets, I want to try the nuggets. And then I got a large coleslaw this time because you guys know I love me, my fresh and cold coleslaw. So we're keeping it to, so we're calling this meal chicken salad. This is my meal for the day. It'll just be like an unhealthy-ish, semi-healthy-ish, but mostly unhealthy-ish chicken salad. These are the nuggets. And then we got our coleslaw. I'm in the parking lot at Home Depot here. And it's, uh, it's actually kind of calm. It's pretty tame. Home Depot is usually pretty popping, but uh, that's not the case. So these nuggets, so obviously in Popeye's fashion, obviously in Popeye's fashion, they're looking great. Now what else is looking great is the fact that I just got sauce all over my new shirt here. That's obviously awesome. I love it. But whatever, we have uh, a washing machine for that. Uh, it's nice out. It's a beauty day. However, yesterday, not so much all the snow not all the snow but all the problematic snow was melting and we were close we were on the verge of being out of the woods and then we got dumped on two feet yesterday of the stickiest wettest heaviest snow ever all all winter so let's try a nugget though in the black and ranch and understand that it is amazing. That is so, so good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. So I didn't even bother really shoveling. I just use my truck to pack down all the snow because it, it is that way. Like you can just pack it down. It's, it's that sticky. And I barely shoveled. So that was a good, uh, Good little element to it. Another dip for you, bite for you. And uh, handle that. But now it's good. It's just gonna melt. Like it's it's like seven degrees above today. So it's all melting. So that's good. Now, this is my second time at Popeyes. I initially went just to get the sauce because I was actually craving soft beef tacos. I've been craving like Taco Bell style soft beef tacos with just lettuce, cheese, beef. And then I was gonna use the Black and Ranch in the tacos. Then time got away from me with snow removal and shit. Cause I went and helped my mom and whatnot. What I'm saying is I went into the Popeyes originally and I rolled up to the counter and I ordered just a bag of sauce. <laughs> and uh, they were a little bit perplexed, but I made it known like, I'm, I'm gonna be weird here and I'm gonna order just sauce. <laughs> so that was a funny experience. And then I just rolled back through and I was gonna order tenders, not the nuggets. I ordered 12 tenders and a large coleslaw. And she told me the total was 41 55 or something like that. Chicken salad. Perfect. 
And I was like, come again, 41 for 12 tenders? But she's like, yeah, do you want the nuggets? I was like, if it's way cheaper, yeah. That works out to something like almost $4 a tender. Which that is quite literally insane. Whoa. That combo is something. Something else. Wow. So, so good. <laughs> so I just went with the nuggets, which it's definitely enough food. I think the 12 tenders would have been excessive. But they were having a good laugh at me ordering all this sauce. They said it was the first time. The thing that they said, they said, the only other thing that they had similar was somebody ordered, like, came in and ordered, like, six gravies. Like, big gravies. I was like, yeah, I understand that. He might have been having, like, a family dinner at home. A bunch of people coming over. Love your gravy but make the rest of everything else at home. You know? But yeah, just out and about doing some stuff. I want to pop eyes again. I figured just upload like a whatever video. That's kind of my deal right now. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself with this shit. Like I'm kind of taking a, a bit of a social cleanse, like a, just a little mental health break, like just upload whenever, whatever I want. Nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. Nothing too extensive. And uh, I just needed to back off for a minute, I feel like, as if. to I don't know, I just kind of needed a break. I feel like I've just been grinding on YouTube for so, so, so long. Just constantly, it's always in your head too. And even when you're just chilling at home, you're still like thinking about like tomorrow, the next day, what coming up this week, like, you know, reading through comments and stuff and shout out to all y'all on the last video about 30 days sober. Really appreciate the love and support. Really appreciate like you guys talking about your stuff, how it helps you as well. Um, going through what you guys are going through. So that's really awesome. I got to get to some responses on there, but sometimes, I don't know, going through comments gets like a little overwhelming. Sometimes I get like emotional because of the support I get, and I get emotional because I see other people going through stuff. And then, then there's the odd ones where people are trying to like psychoanalyze my life with t <laughs> Fuck, I got shit all over me. There's, there's people, it's very rare, few and far between, but there's people uh, that try to play psychiatrist. Uh, we're going to go sweet heat on this one. And like psychoanalyze me and my life uh, with tidbits of information, essentially. So that's the problem with uh, the world a lot of times or in a public forum I open myself up to it by doing this but you can't uh, you can't break down or speculate concretely on somebody's life only knowing snippets of information from said person's life you don't know the whole picture you don't know what they're battling with inside their own head you don't know the full scope of everything about their life what's happened in their life past like deep in the past in recent past you just don't know the full scope of things so
those comments are tough to read because and there may be a, a handful of truth in that comment some things to acknowledge is true and there might be some accuracy but at the same time there's a ton of um presumptive uh biased disposition towards me and narrative that is simply untrue and so that is what irks people a lot is um the fact that when you're on the internet like this if somebody has a predisposed you know they're predisposed to they kind of don't really like they might kind of like you or they might maybe they're on the fence about you or maybe they just don't really like you they're more apt to start like psychoanalyze and start narrativizing through their snippets of information in a biased manner towards you and then you're like that lives now in the chat in the forum and then it other people scroll past it then they read it and it's like oh is their opinion now swayed or misconstrued because of this person's personal biased disposition towards you and what they think they know about your life right it's when you have the uh picture of the iceberg this is what you see this is the rest of the iceberg that's somebody's life on the internet it's like sure i've let you in a lot to my life but even then you're just scratching the surface of somebody's life And that goes for everybody. Like, that goes for real life, too. That goes for your friends, family members. You just never know the full spectrum of what goes on behind closed doors. And just the inner workings and complexities of, of somebody's life. You just, you don't know the whole story. You never will. Because there's parts of us we keep hidden. basically only to ourselves and even with your greatest friend or greatest even with your partner whoever there's always parts of yourself that you're going through things that you just feel like you can't express or can't reveal and that's why relationships are so goddamn com complicated and you know because of trans you know transparency and communication is key but How honest are you able to get? That's a question that needs to be considered. So it's just interesting. But these are the mental health aspects of like, of being on the internet, of being online. Because what you share is then open to open interpretation and criticism. And then people try to start to represent you from their lens, which is entirely inaccurate. So that's why sometimes going through the comments, it's a bit tough, it's a bit tough sometimes. It's mostly, mostly just all love, though. It's mostly all just emotional for me. To see and understand what other people are going through, similar to me. So, to all y'all who are just saying it raw like it is for you as well, just saying like how you, what you're struggling with, I hear you. Shout out to you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.
I'll tell you one thing not helpful <laughs> is beside me right now is the LCBO, <laughs> is a liquor store. We're not going. But that programming is coming in. It's nice out. It's Thursday. It's close to the weekend. <laughs> it's right there. You used to go there all the time. Right? Breaking the program and becoming a new. Rebirth. Born again. Baptized by fire. Baptized by coleslaw. While wearing a Booger Collar hoodie. I was so conflicted. Because I like green. I like... I love green. Green is probably my favorite color. As you can tell by my seats. But, uh... This tone was like... It's too close to phlegm. It's like mucus green. <laughs> but I think it kind of works. Either way, I needed a new hoodie. <laughs> my other ones have got... Uh, you know when you get like a grease stain? That kills me the worst. Get some sort of a grease stain and you just... It never kind of goes away. There's always that like hue remnant of the grease stain just chilling it's the worst and i don't know i've tried i've tried shout i've tried scrubbing i've tried soaking they don't come out it seems so you just get more 15 dollar hoodies from walmart because i'm not a guy who gives a shit about brand names or anything like that as long as the piece of clothing is decent looks decent and it lasts me like a little while we're good but I ain't trying to flex <laughs> you know that said I gotta wash this now because I got a hell I did a hell of a job getting a bunch of shit all over it during this video so awesome perfect in the meantime check out this <laughs> parking lot snow still got tons to melt but the lot itself is pretty good and uh that'd be that so so thanks for tuning into this one random necessary had to just eat these get some things off the old chest and uh just a little little, 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 little. <laughs> and just a little update okay till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true don't narrativize other people's lives with minimal information hi <laughs>